Hello, it's Alex or Polymomo T. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit different. It's called an inspiration tag and I just picked some of my favorite YouTubers, um, not all of them but some, and decided to make three charms based off their tutorials or their charms or different resin pieces and decided to just make it myself. And it'd be cool if this tag could, you know, spread on to other people. So yeah, let's get started. So the first crafter I had inspiration from is Nerdy Crafter. So I made her glow in the dark dinosaur monster. And it looks like it should glow in the dark, but it doesn't. It's just made out of green translucent clay. And the back is just pearly white. Oh, there I go. I drop it in the video. And I take a while to pick it up. But yeah. I made her little glow in the dark monster. Second one is Emmett, or I think from the Lego movie, he is trapped in a bottle in her tutorial, but I couldn't I don't have a bottle that small or big, and I can't make it that small, so I just made it into a charm. And the last one is Baymax. Uh, it's from the Big Hero 6 movie that'll be releasing sometime this month. So the next crafter I was inspired by is Qtam Popo. She's one of the first YouTubers I followed when I first started crafting online. And so I made this Daruma that she had in one of her charm updates. I made all the features out of clay where she painted it, so mine looks a little bit derpier than she does. But for some reason it kind of looks like a Studio Ghibli kind of thing. I'm not really sure why. Uh, the next one I made is this skeleton bunny doll. Her, she made hers out of black and white uh, cold porcelain, but I made mine green because I just had that color. And then the last one is this bunny cake pop, and I followed her tutorial. It was super easy, and I'm just so glad with like the end result too. Uh, the next crafter. I was inspired by is a uh, funky pink gal and so I made her cat mirror um, but mine doesn't have a mirror it's just blank uh, this is a strawberry shortcake I followed her tutorial too I used a different cane slice because I made mine really small and then the other ones the regular ones are much larger than the size of my cake so I just had to use the small ones And then I made a carrot cake or carrot pudding. I saw it on one of her Instagram posts. I'm not quite sure if it's a cake or a pudding, but I just made it anyways. So the next crafter I was inspired by is Cool Rice Bunnies. And so I saw this resin piece she made in one of her updates and I, th well, I thought it was so cool. So I just made a clay version out of it. And the back is just pearly white, and then all the little features on top is made out of translucent clay mixed with many colors. Um, then I followed her tutorial to make those new Chinese New Year red envelopes. So I wrote Polk on the back, which is Korean for luck, because I don't know Chinese, I'm Korean. And uh, the other one I just kind of dotted on some gold paint because I was lazy. And then the last one is I followed her tutorial to make pumpkin pie because Thanksgiving is coming up soon. So the next crafter I was inspired by was putting fish cakes. And so I followed her dragon tutorial, dragon and egg tutorial. And um, the egg was slightly dirty so I decided to just paint on some dots to cover it up because it wouldn't come off with just a nail polish remover and q-tip. Then I made this polka dot bow tie. 
also following our tutorial. And then I made the pumpkin house, pumpkin fairy house. And I'm really glad I made it because it was so fun to make, super easy, and I just loved the result. And then the next crafter is XOX Roof is inspired. So I made this Kelsifer uh, inspired by her tutorial. And then I realized that why that Daruma looked Ghibli inspired. I think it's the eyes. Don't they look very Studio Ghibli inspired because of the eyes? I don't know. Then I made this tiny puzzle piece. I don't even know how it got that small. I just kept cutting it away to make it more perfect shaped and it just became that small in the end. I started out like twice that size too. And then in one of her charm updates she made coffee beans. So I also made coffee beans. I, I don't think you can tell but two, the two on top are smiling. And the one on bottom is frowning. So yeah, that's my inspiration tag. And it'd be great if I could see other people's uh, inspirational crafter remakes as well. Uh, all you need to do is just write inspiration tag. And on, on Instagram, it's hashtag inspiration tag as well. Thanks.